Hey, what's up guys? I'm TPV Rob and Ice Room. Welcome to MPC Week 1 and 2 Recap. So, uh, you guys just saw the draft analysis, so uh, we got the recap here. Um, you'll notice I have an Aromatis here, which is not on my team, but that's one of the Pokemon I traded, so... Yeah, um... Just wanted to point that out. Uh, my opponent is Junior, and Infernape destroys my team completely, so... Uh, my way of winning was to sort of, uh, I guess, beat out the Infernape with my offense and still have decent defense with Aromatis and Chansey to take on other mons. Um, for Alligator also destroys my team. Um, it's it's super threatening. Like, it doesn't even have to set up a DD to win. Uh, Whimsicott. <sighs> I didn't think it was coming at all. So I was like, okay... It has a terrible matchup against most of my team. And then the mons that check it, like Cloyster, Volcarona, the mons that just set up and sweep on it, I didn't bring because I, I was like, okay, Whimsicott's probably not coming. But it did come. So we're in a bit of a bad situation here with that. Um, Hippo hardwalls my team. Mew can do anything. Zapdos, eh, it's not that much of an issue. I have a T-Tar. Como does a lot to it. So uh, let's get into it. So I led Lando, it's my stealth rocker, he leads Whimsicott, and I go into Chansey. Um, Moonblast does zero, but he can just leech seed and ignore anything I do to him. I throw up a wish, and then uh, bring in Coco to get the free switch in, as he goes for a double leech seed, which is a good play. And uh, here I go for a U-turn as he stays in, <laughs> and I just go back into Chansey. And uh, Moonblast does zero, I think I wish here. I uh, should have doubled back into Coco and just U-turned again, but I uh, I wanted to uh, get my wish up. I did some pointless damage to the Whimsicott because he gets it all back. Um, Gator comes in on my wish, and then I pass it into Como on the Liquidation, which does a good amount of damage, but then I'm back at full health. And uh, here, I can Focus Blast and get a kill. Like, Whimsicott takes like 70 min. So, as he Ice Punches and uh, doesn't do that much damage, I Focus Blast and miss. Um, that's... That sort of really threw me off, because, like I said, Gator does a lot to my team. Focus Blast was a guaranteed kill. Uh, I should have clicked... I, I don't think I should have, but I could have clicked Clanging Scales to get the guaranteed KO. Not the guaranteed, but a uh, kill, but if the Whimscat came in, which it could easily come in on, like, any Como set, that's not, like, I don't know, it, unless I tried to Dragon Dance on this, I, I think Whimscat was a very safe switch in. But, uh, it doesn't happen, I missed Focus Blast, and here, I, I was like, okay, Liquidation doesn't kill me. It, it just doesn't kill me, I, so I thought he would Ice Punch again, and I go into Coco, and... He clicks, oh, he does click Ice Punch, and uh, it does a lot of damage, and he goes for Aqua Jet, and I thought the last move was Super Power, because I have, I have a Kartana, so I was like, okay, he has Super Power, that's his last move, because uh, the other one was going to be a setup move, like SD, because he has uh, SD to easily take out my walls, or Dragon Ant to outspeed everything and kill, um, but it's Aqua Jet. And I thought he would save this Pokemon because it destroys my team. So I U-turned. Um, this is obviously a physical Coco. Um, and I thought, okay. Um, just like, I just I just U-turned. I thought he would try and save his uh, Feraligator. So I have to go into Aromatis, which takes a lot of damage, as I wish. And I'm just in a shit position here. Um, he Ice Punches on my Protect. Um, predicting the Como to come in, uh, he liquidates, does a lot of damage as I Toxic, and, uh, well, um, then he doubles into Infernape on my Protect as it fails, get my lefties, and here is, uh, my, I think, first misplay, um, I think everything else was, like, just over predictions or hacks, and then, uh, here's, here's, but here's my misplay, uh, I knew it was Banded Infernape. It obliterates my team. So, uh, if I go for Protect, I have a chance to live a Flare Blitz. 
guess who doesn't go for protect? This guy. Who needs leftovers recovery? Um, he just kills me, and I go into Coco, and uh, I click return, and uh, Zapdos gets crit and <laughs> takes 98%. Um, I thought it was scarfed because, uh, because of the. Because he brought it in on the Coco, and Coco would have to it KO'd. So I, I actually thought he was scarfed because it, it gets momentum here no matter what. It, it's a no drawback play. As he U turns into his for alligator, and uh, I go into Lando. <laughs> God, this T Tar is annoying. He gets the Aqua Jet off. <clears throat> and because. Um, because of my over predictions and focus blast miss, the mix of the two, it just it didn't. Everything got weakened by the Gator. Um, I bring in Chansey on the Whimsicott. He goes for Leech Seed as I wish, and uh, he gets a free switch into Infernape, in my opinion. But he doesn't do that, so I seismic toss. I should have Toxic. Why did? Ah, what am I doing? I don't think I have Toxic. Is my last move Rocks? No, Lando's Rocks. I don't know. I'll check out the team, but I wish again and bring it into Como as he bulks up. Um, and then I go for Clanging Scales. Uh, Zen Headbutt thankfully doesn't flinch me. I'm, it's it's a bulk up Mew, which is interesting. But here we go. Um, Lando comes in. I, I just lose here. I go for EQ. Uh, fortunately for me, Zen Headbutt misses, but I don't know. I, I think I... He, I think... He, I lost the game when, uh, when, uh, I don't know. I think the, it was an uphill battle once I missed the focus blast that I could have still won if I played smart. I didn't play smart. I lost my game, I think, when maybe I, when I let Aromatisse go down or when I let, uh, Coco get weakened so much by the for alligator. Those, I, I just, I, I didn't play that well this game. Um, Infernape comes in, I sack, I don't sack my T-Tar, I bring in T-Tar on the Flare Blitz because close combat won't kill, I know he's banded, as, uh, I crunch because if he brought in Hippo, um, okay, so this is a D-Dance T-Tar, I thought he would for sure bring in Hippo, Hippo easily tanks hits from any T-Tar set, so I thought Hippo was coming in, I could crunch to get damage off it and maybe sweep in the later game. But he sacks off his Zapdos, so now I, I for sure lose. I'm just gone. Uh, I sack off Chansey as Infernape's locked into close combat. And um, I bring in Lando. I get the revenge kill uh, as he gets a good chunk of damage with close combat. I get the revenge kill with EQ. Um, and yeah, I just I lost this game. Um, I'm just kind of encores me for some strange reason. Uh, he could have just killed me. Um... And, uh, yeah, Moonblast kills me, and, uh, T-Tar comes in, uh, tanks a Moonblast, sets up a DD, and gets my, gets the one kill with the Whimsicott, on the Whimsicott, but then, uh, Hippo can easily come in and just, uh, EQ me. So, week one, uh, close 1-0, I, it was not a close game, I, Junior won, handily. Um, yeah, it, it was, uh, it was not a very close game. <laughs> Um, even though it looks it, it was a 1-0, Junior had the game, he, he won. Um, I th I, ugh. I didn't think Wimscott was coming at all, so good bring on his part. And, uh, yeah, it just, it didn't work out for me, but we, uh, we're only down 1-0. So let's get into week two. Um, so we're against Mimo, and, uh, well, pre-trade, uh, you'll see the other Pokemon I had, uh, Decidueye, o over Delmize. Um, okay, so, you see, he has a Terrakion, and, uh, this is before I fixed my fighting weakness. <coughs> if I had my team for week two now, I'd have it to Blade, which would be really nice. Um, but, Terrakion makes this a really uphill battle, however, Kartana doesn't do terrible against him. It does good against Palisand, Slurpuff, Milotic, uh, Terrakion, and Circuitry. It does well against every single one of them, but then there's that Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz takes zero from anything Kartana can throw at it. So, my main way of winning is uh, weaken the Mandibuzz, um, at least a little, and then pass a Swords Dance with Decidueye into Kartana and win. Um, 
Then I have Como again, Chansey to take on the Zerk Tree. Cloyster is a Pokemon that I have. Uh, it's my spinner this game. It's not a good spinner, but I, I needed one because of webs, just period. And then Coco is, uh... What is Coco? I, I can't remember. Um, but Coco's here. Um, and I lead with Coco. Oh, it's a, it's a pivot with both U-turn and Volt Switch. And I U-turn turn one is he surprisingly... Stays in with my lot on my top of Coco when he has the Palisand, so I was like, okay, Palisand can easily come in here. Um, I bring in my Chansey's he Toxics, which ugh, I don't know about that play, but he got it. He got it. Um, the the Coco couldn't kill the Milotic, uh, as He scalds. I set up my rocks, and then Slurpuff comes in as I double into top of Coco, and here again I decide to U-turn, um, because. Like, Palisand just has a free switch in the Tapu Koko. So, I uh, U-turn into my Kartana. As he sets up Sticky Web, I thought a Belly Drum set was coming because it obliterates me. Um, I Leaf Blade, and you'll see 17. <laughs> 17. Uh, I do 0. I double into my Coco. As he uh, foul plays and does 0. And now, I, I Volt Switch. And he goes into Palisand. And I am very frustrated at this point. I double into Chansey. Um, as he earth powers and does nothing, and he goes to Rakion, um, as I wish, and then I get, I bring in Decidueye, um, as he rock polishes, um, the wish would give me a free switch in De Decidueye, this is Max Fizdef, um, the great thing about this is if he sets up an SD, I'm living a hit, I'm living a Stone Edge, he's, Terrakion is not a Zemon, so, I can Leaf Blade here, um, bring it down to like super low, and uh, then just do fine with it. Um, I'll guarantee to live a hit if he goes for SD or just goes for two attacks. So I go for Leaf Blade, um, Z Rock Slides, going for the flinch, and he has weakness policy, which means Decidueye here is falling over. Decidueye is falling over right now. Uh, rock Slide kills me. And then, alright, so, uh, I thought I lost here. I was just sitting like, oh, f fuck, I lose. <laughs> um, and I, I did not lose. Close your Ice Shard. So, what I sh uh, should have done is gone into Como or Chansey and let my guy uh, close combat and lower defense. But I was tilted. I wasn't thinking. So I was like, oh, fuck, I just lost. Why? And I was just super pissed at myself. And then I was like, okay, I lose. Time to just sack everything. And Cloyster comes in. And I was like, and then I saw. When, when I brought it in, I was like, ugh, I have Ice Shard. Maybe this will kill. Uh, it does not, but you'll see. Like, that would have done enough to where if he had a defense uh, drop, it would have killed. So, I just, I, I wasn't thinking. So, uh, yeah. And then we just let everything fall over. And, uh, yeah, we get 6 owed. So we're starting off 0-2 with a minus 7 differential. Um, this is not the end of the world. Last season I started off 0-2 because I picked up the team from someone else who started off 0-2. So it's not the end of the world. Um, I made some transactions to make my team better. And, uh, I, I do think I have a good team. So I think that, uh, I can easily pull this back. Um, I'm going against Jeff next week. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week with uh, NPC Week 3. Peace.